In my death and dying class at the Tahoe Truckee campus of Sierra College, I incorporated a memorial textile art project as a component of the course. With funding from the CCC Maker Movement, we set up a lab on our campus and used interns skilled in sewing to assist. The students were tasked with creating a memorial to anything they have grieved. It could be a pet, a person, a geographic location, a job, a romantic relationship, or even a lost sense of self. 23 students completed the process and the final projects were beyond my wildest expectation. Hi, my name is Lauren and I'd like to share with you today my fidget quilt that I made for my mother who is still with us, but she has Alzheimer's, so I am grieving the loss of my mother's mind and my mom. I miss her. I made this fidget quilt for her. It's all kinds of tactile and sensory and stimulation objects. Um, there's a zipper here for her. Uh, little fun tactile pearls. A belt that she can clasp and unclasp. Same thing with this buckle. My mom loves to eat chips, and so I put a special kind of paper inside this to make it sound like she's opening up a bag of chips. I enjoyed making this fidget quilt for my mom, and I had so many extra pieces that I've decided to make quilts, and I've actually completed one other fidget quilt, and once I have a stack of them, I plan on donating them to memory care or rehab facilities for others to enjoy. I decided to make a tapestry in dedication to my grandmother who raised me for 18 years and then passed away two years ago. I decided to start with a base fabric from a poncho that she actually used to wear and it still kind of smells like her. And I framed each photo with a piece of a sweater that she used to wear. But I found that this was a very healing process for me. My name is Adrian Frutos, and um, I made the printing of this t-shirt as symbolic of my experience of um, some bad choices I made when I was a youth. I went to prison, and um, this music was what got me into prison and what got me through prison. Well, I printed out images, and um, I sewed them onto the shirt, but it was um, there was a lot of emotion involved. Is what I didn't realize. She, in the middle, is my grandma, Anna, or Anita. So she died when I was two. So I don't really have any memories with her, but um, it's weird. I feel really connected to her all the time. Sometimes I feel really angry because I feel like she died way too soon. Because um, she raised um, her four children, and then all of them are adults now, and they all came to the U.S., and they all have their families, and they're great people, and I just wish she could see what a great job she did. I'm an artist, so um, each picture was printed onto fabric, and this one is from when I was about four or five, and this one was from this year. It was really like therapeutic, which I didn't expect, and I came in like almost every week to work on it just because, I don't know, it's nice to take something that's been internal since I was like five years old to um, put it into visual terms. I think pink side kind of represents like the childhood side and like what it kind of looks like on the outside and this kind of represents what it looks like on the inside at that time and this sort of represents what it looks like on the outside now but this is kind of what it's on the inside now. Mm -hmm. I think it's been really helpful to kind of um, summarize my experiences and the trauma and just get it out of my name is Ivan Martinez, and the textile project I decided to do on was on my mom, and I used and I used an apron for that because my mom's a chef, and I did the cancer, the cancer ribbon right here because that was for 
my uncle, which passed away. And when he passed away, it was a big hit in the family. And I put a note in from the car and I put this note in there for my mom. Mama, eres una parte maravillosa de mi vida. Just mom, you're a, a marvelous part of my life. Y que recuerdes lo mucho que te quiero desde siempre y por siempre. Feliz Navidad. And remember, and remember how much I love you now and forever. Merry Christmas. For my textile memorial art, I decided to take the genes of my kids who are a junior and a senior. And so one will be graduating this year and leaving. And um, to keep those so that I always have their clothes and always have something from them. And if you look throughout here, there's like darker ones and lighter ones. And like there was one in particular where you could see like where their little knee plugs oh. were in a hole in them. And I also chose to make a quilt because my mother and my grandmother were both quilters. And um, we also we have more than one jean quilt in our family. When my kids are gone and have families of their own, I will be able to wrap myself in their memory and have it forever.